Throughout a good portion of 2020 and the vast majority of 2021, the Florida Maquis made videos stating that after the issue with the 2020 sniffles, the state of Florida was acting much more like its own independent nation than it was merely a state in the union. De facto, meaning in reality on the ground, we were doing whatever we wanted to do with no fear of any type of retribution from Washington, D.C. or Joe Biden. And now here we are, end of 2022, we've seen the same thing happen very recently. We are doing whatever we want to do. Washington, D.C. throws a fit, but in reality, they can do nothing about it. We are, in effect, operating as if we are our own nation. Now, I got a lot of pushback for this. And this platform, particularly, YouTube, did not like Ron DeSantis. In fact, I gave up a great deal of money to cover Governor DeSantis because the vast majority of those videos got demonetized initially and up, they were reviewed and some were taken down and deleted. I lost a lot of money trying to talk about what Governor DeSantis was doing. It's why I actually had to stand up the Patreon channel to make up the difference. And I appreciate every single one of you that stood in the gap for me, that showed up and even at the lowest allowable level, $1 made that difference. Well, that's still going on, but it's only going on right now in certain choice platforms and other um, people can seem to talk about Governor DeSantis with impunity. But we'll talk about that in a minute. There's a new story out there. I'm sure a lot of you have heard it. Where Governor DeSantis has now sent a couple plane loads up to Martha's Vineyard. And everybody's like, ah, ah, ah I see. They're, uh, they all, all for immigration, but not in their backyard. And they're calling it an illegal stunt and all this kind of stuff. Well, I understand the concept of it. Which proves my point. When we can take people that they ship here, and we can literally, against their will, put them on a plane and send them to Martha's Vineyard against the will of Washington, D.C., that really proves my point even more. It hammers that point home that the state of Florida does not answer to Washington, D.C. any longer in any way, shape, or form, if we can do that. But it also tells us something about these migrants. Now, once again, humbly, the assault is still going on on my channel. I don't talk about it a lot, but if you have the ability to sign up and support the Florida Maquis at the Patreon channel, it's only one U.S. dollar per month, even less if you sign up for an entire year. I could definitely use the help. No lie. But let me ask you a question, and this will put everything in perspective. Do you have the ability, as a parent, to tell your kid to go do the dishes? Well, of course you do. If he refuses to do it, can you send him to his room? Sure. Absolutely. Why is this not a violation of child labor laws? Why, when you send him to his room, are you not, why, why, are you, why is that not kidnapping? Why is that uh, appropriate? Well, of course, because he's a minor. He is, pay attention here, he or she is your ward. Because they are not legally capable of making decisions for themselves. Why? They're a minor. Now, Covering Governor DeSantis, when he started talking about this a long time ago, I, I brought this allegation up. I'm like, you know, those folks that came here, we could put them to work. We got all sorts of things that they could do. And some people pushed back and said, but yeah, isn't that taking a job away from a Floridian? There are all sorts of jobs in Florida that aren't technically jobs, meaning things that need to get done that there aren't specific job descriptions for. We're going to cover that in this video. It's kind of indicative of why I stopped covering the governor. I gave up all that money, all that time, all that ability to grow my channel just to see him go play footsie with Dave Rubin in Orlando, which was incredibly disappointing. So that's why I stopped covering him. Because clearly, that, for me, was the smoking gun that Governor DeSantis isn't doing things because they're right. He's doing things because they're politically right. That's it. 
And that's two very distinct things. It wasn't right, correct, moral to go dance on stage with Dave Rubin. Not people who buy babies. No, sorry. That agenda is that agenda. Now, in this particular case, this little stunt with Martha's Vineyard, we could have kept them here. We could have kept all of those people here and declared them simply wards of the state. Now, some might ask, why would you want to do that? We would have a free worker army. Send us as many as you can. You don't have to pay them. You don't have to pay your kid to wash the dishes. He's a ward. He is your ward. You can declare adults wards of the state. What does being a ward mean? And you can Google this. A person, sometimes a minor, or one legally, pay attention, legally incapable of managing his or her own affairs, placed under the control of protection of guardian or court. Can these people legally manage their own affairs inside the United States? No, they cannot. Why? They're not here legally. They can't rent a hotel room. They can't rent a car. They can't sign a contract for an apartment. They can't. Nothing can they do legally. And what is the definition of a ward? One legally incapable of managing his or her own affairs. Period. Now, Patriot Nurse, last two videos, talks about this. Now, she talks about it in the context of Florida exercising its 10th Amendment right as a state. And maybe that's the difference. Maybe that's why she can get 10 times as many views as I ever got talking about the same thing. But that would be the answer. Now, some might say, okay, great, Mucky. Wonderful. You've declared them wards of the state. What does that mean? It means they legally can't vote. You see, years ago, and maybe some people in my older um, demographic will understand this, back when we had insane asylums, and prior to there being large government social programs like Medicare, Medicaid, uh, Social Security, sometimes people fell through the cracks, got old, they couldn't work anymore, they didn't have any kids to take care of them, and there was no social safety net. States had to just take in these people. Some were mentally gone, some were physically unable to take care of themselves. They were declared wards of the state. Now, there were mental wards and psychiatric wards, but some wards were just for the, for the elderly and those who did not have the ability to do it for themselves. So, okay, well, we don't have asylums anymore, Florida Maki. Where would you put these people? We have all sorts of military barracks all over the state. Now, remember, we're not talking about 10,000 people here right now. We're talking about a few hundred. These are, of course, National Guard units, but those guys are only training, I believe, one weekend a month, two weeks a year. We could find a way to get these people housed, get them undercover somewhere. Worst case scenario, every single year, Florida stands up all sorts of hurricane shelters. Was it Joe Arpaio that built that huge tent city for all the um, those the prisoners out in the desert? It wouldn't be a problem. It would absolutely not be a problem to declare them wards of the state. And once again, wards of the state can't vote. They can't own a gun. You take away a great many of their of their rights. Where is the? Uh, here it is from hmflaw.net. How is someone declared legally incompetent? Through the guardianship process. A guardian is appointed to an individual who is unable to make decisions on his or her own, and legally they can't. The court must decide, based on the evidence presented, whether the individual is truly in need of a guardian. It is a very serious matter. The individual who would be appointed a guardian is set to lose many fundamental rights, and you, you do. Once you are declared legally incompetent, no voting. No voting, no gun, no nothing like that. And believe me when I tell you, when I say we have jobs, and, and this is a, a photo of those actual people. These people are fit, in shape, strong. This girl here has got a smartphone. These people are ready to work. 
And those jobs, I said, that technically aren't jobs. See, we have tourists coming here all the time, trashing places. And it's hard to keep up with. This is from Miami. This is an article just from this year in February. Uh, Florida Highway Patrol Troopers respond to trash problem on Highway 77. We can have nothing but armies of these guys picking up trash all day. They And they would never be done. You could give us a thousand, and they could never stay up and have them work every day, sun up to sundown, as wards of the state. And yes, you can make them work, just like you can make your kid wash the dishes, and you don't have to pay them. This is 7 February 2022. This was about, uh, you know, near these landfills where these big trash trucks come in and out. Sometimes things are covered and not. Things get blown all over the place. Polk County, Florida, Tampa, Jacksonville, more Jacksonville, Naples. You see, here's my opinion. Take it or leave it. The politically right thing to do was to do exactly what Governor DeSantis did. Because it scored him a ton of political points with the right. The morally right thing to do was to think about this for a minute and go, hmm, how can we benefit the people of the state of Florida? How can we take this negative and turn it into a positive? It wouldn't be very difficult. We control the vast majority of the courts and the judges and the legislature here. To have these people declared wards of the state, piece of cake. And then once they're ours... We can put them to work all day long. We'll provide food. We'll provide shelter. We'll, of course, separate the men and the women while they're out working in the middle of nowhere on highways where they can't harm anybody. I'm sure a lot of people are already typing, what about the criminals that would go do this? this? No, not, a, not as wards of the state. They would, in essence, be just one level below a prisoner. They would just be a prisoner that can wear civilian clothes that is under guard 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. And they go and do what you say they, they do. And they can be vetted. And like I said, put them out in the middle of the highway and have them pick up trash. Have them start on 75 or on 95 or on the 4 or any other highway and just have them start like I said you could give me an army of 5,000 and they would never get caught up in Jacksonville Jacksonville's such a shithole Tallahassee, Gainesville, same thing nothing but nothing but picking up trash no contact with people no contact with citizens whatsoever just wards of the state and then let me be very clear I'm not upset with Patriot Nurse, I'm glad she's getting the videos, views that she's getting, but it's just a little frustrating from my point of view that I covered this literal exact topic for a year about what DeSantis was doing, separating from the federal government, de facto, not de jure, meaning D-E-J-U-R-E, meaning in law. In law, technically not, but in reality, that is the case. When you can directly defy the federal government over and over and over and over again, do what you want to do with zero consequences, you are in essence your own nation. And that's just the reality. And I know a lot of people think I'm being really super unfair with, with Governor DeSantis. Look, I gave him the benefit of the doubt for a long time. I got up every morning, I covered his press conferences did commentary on his press conferences on top of doing videos. I'm sure a lot of you remember that. That went on for months and months and months. And every single one of those was demonetized. So meaning basically I did it for free. So I had to do a second video during the day. So I had to stand up a Patreon channel. Is because of Governor DeSantis. And I was glad to do it because it was the right thing to do. But like I said, when he decided... He wanted to go snuggle up real close to Dave Rubin and Dave Rubin's husband, the men who decide they want to buy babies as if they're commodities and pretend they're daddies. 
and he decided to get in bed with them simply because it was politically convenient, that was just too much for me. I couldn't take it anymore after everything I'd sacrificed. Someone actually even wrote a letter to his office on my behalf, unbeknownst to me, and the response was not exactly all that glowing. So, as far as I'm concerned, the man's going to get what God intends for him. And I'll leave that there. But uh, no, bear no ill will towards the Patriot Nurse. It's just the way the platform works. Congratulations. I am uh, also sending out condolences, apparently... Um, sometime in the last week or two, she lost her grandfather. We had done a video covering an interview she did with her grandfather sometime back. Um, so thoughts and prayers with her and her family during this time. Glad to see her back on the platform, um, talking about the important stuff. But, um, once again, to be very clear, no ill will. Glad she's getting the views. Wish I could have talking about the same thing. So I will leave it there. But thank you once again especially all of you who've showed up and stood in the gap and made the difference. I very, very much appreciate it. Um, it's been a rough year. I'll leave it there. If you can join us over Patreon for the one U.S. dollar, I'd sure appreciate it. God bless. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.